Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Lejghemi from the Palestinian schools in Doha, Qatar. Today I will explain for you Unit 13, Period 4. Let's get started. First, let's revise the lesson's vocabulary. The first word is acceptable. Acceptable. Acceptable is an adjective. Acceptable is an adjective. Acceptable means normal or good enough. It is acceptable. So acceptable means normal or good enough. An example on acceptable is it is acceptable to eat with the right hand only. It is acceptable to eat with the right hand only. The second word is consider. Consider. Consider is a verb. Consider means to form an opinion about something. Consider means to form an opinion about something. An example is, Palestinians consider learning English is very important. The third word is empty. Empty is an adjective. Look at those pictures. The first one is empty. It has nothing. Empty. But the other one is full. Look here, empty, an empty glass. It doesn't have anything in it. The other one is full. It's full of juice. An example is, your glass is empty. Would you like some more lemonade? The next word is, however. However. However is an adverb. However means, nevertheless or in spite of that nevertheless or in spite of that an example is we haven't yet won however we shall keep trying we haven't we haven't yet won however we shall keep trying next impolite 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 is an adjective. Look at this picture. Is this behavior polite or impolite? Impolite. Can you think of the meaning of impolite? What does that mean? Yes. Impolite means having bad manners because this is a bad manner. The opposite of impolite is polite. So the Antonym, the antonym of impolite is polite. The next word, normal. Normal is an adjective. Normal means okay or not bad. It is okay, so it's not bad. An example is, it is normal to eat with your hand in Palestine. So it's okay to eat with your hand. It is not bad to eat with your, with your hand in Palestine. Raise. Raise is a verb. Raise. Look at this girl. She raised her hand. Raise. Raise. Her hand is up. Raise means to move or lift something to a higher position. Raise. The last word is remain. Remain. Remain is a verb. It means to stay in the same place or to continue in the same state or condition. An example is, they left while I remained at home. I stayed at home. Remain means stay or to continue in the same state. So here, they left while I remained at home or I stayed at home. Exercise 1, page 31. Listen and number the words in the order you hear them. 
Let's first read the words together. Acceptable, consider, empty, however, impolite, normal, raise, remain. Now I will play the audio twice. Please listen carefully. First listen and write the numbers, then listen and check your answers. Are you ready? Have you ever eaten in a Chinese restaurant? Oh, yes. However, we don't go often because my father doesn't like Chinese food. Then maybe you can tell me, is it normal to raise your bowl in China? Yes, people consider it to be acceptable. That's interesting. Oh, your plate is empty. Do you want more? No, thank you. I'm full. Very nice. Now I will play the audio again so that you can check your answers. Have you ever eaten in a Chinese restaurant? Oh, yes. However, we don't go often because my father doesn't like Chinese food. Then maybe you can tell me, is it normal to raise your bowl in China? Yes. People consider it to be acceptable. That's interesting. Oh, your plate is empty. Do you want more? No, thank you. I'm full. Have you finished? Okay, now I'll display the answers to check your answers. Okay, number one is however. Number two is normal. Number three is raise. Number four, consider. Five acceptable and number six is empty okay which words didn't you hear in the audio they didn't mention all the words did you know them very good they are impolite and remain exercise 2 page 31 read and circle the correct words in this exercise, you are going to read these six sentences and to choose the correct answer. Circle the correct answer. Number one, it is polite or impolite to use the table manners of the country you are in. Number two, do you think it is acceptable, empty to talk with your mouth full? Three, we haven't all finished yet. Please acceptable or remain at the table. 4. In some countries, people hold a fork in their right hand. However, because in other countries, it is normal or delicious to hold it in the left hand. Number 5. I can't speak Chinese. How will I order or consider food in a Chinese restaurant. Six, what do you order or consider to be good manners? Okay, I'll give you some seconds so that you can uh, consider the correct answers, then we will complete together. Okay, very nice. Now let's take the answers one by one. The first one, it is polite or impolite to use the table manners for the country you are in. The answer is polite. Very good. Number two, do you think it is acceptable or empty to talk with your mouth full? Yes, very good. Acceptable. Three, we haven't all finished yet. Please, acceptable or remain at the table. What do you think? Yes, excellent, remain. Four. In some countries, people hold a fork in their right hand. However, or because in other countries, what do you think? The answer is, however, yes, good. In other countries, it is normal or delicious to hold it in the left hand. What do you think? Normal or delicious? Yes, of course, normal. Number five, I can't speak Chinese. 
how will I order or how will I consider food in a Chinese restaurant what do you think yes order of course number six what do you order or what do you consider to be good manners consider that's the truth thank you very much exercise 3 page 31 in this exercise you have to complete the sentences with words from activity 1 then to match the sentences with the correct pictures I put for you the words from activity 1 and here under them are the pictures which you need to use both of them to complete the sentences I'll display the sentences for you here you have three sentences number one the children were very hungry all their plates are number two when you have finished eating I want you to in your seats number three in some countries it is to eat with your hands in other countries it is not okay let's do the exercise one by one number one the children were very hungry all their all their plates are mm, what do you think which picture from these a b or c and which word i'll give you some seconds have you finished give me the answer yes very good the children were very hungry all their plates are empty here the plates are empty which picture picture c very nice Number two, when you have finished eating, I want you to in your seats. Now you have picture A or B. Which picture is more suitable with number two? What do you think? Yes, very nice. Picture B and the answer is remain. I want you to remain in your seats. The last one is, in some countries it is, to eat with your hands. In other countries it is not let's see the first answer the first the first half of the answer acceptable normal very good in some countries it is acceptable to eat with your hands look here all the people are eating with their hands no spoons no forks to eat with your hands however in other countries it is not thank you very much Exercise 4, page 31. Listen and repeat. Pronunciation. Rhyme. We say words which end in the same sound rhyme. Words which end in the same sound are rhyme. For example, cat, hat, and flat. These three words are rhyme. Other examples on rhyme are bat and cat, both of them are rhyme, side and hide, side and hide are rhyme, and finally hit and sit. Now I'm going to play the audio so that you can hear this song. After playing the audio, I want you to take your pencil and to underline each pair of rhyme. First listen, then I want you to start underlying, underlining the rhyme in this song. Are you ready? Let's get started. Do you want to eat? Then take a seat. How do you feel? Would you like a meal? Please don't argue. Just read our menu. Our ice cream with rice is really very nice. Or the chocolate on fish is more than you could wish. And the lemonade salad is better than not bad. So tell me your favourite dishes. We'll make whatever your wish is here at the restaurant delicious. Okay, I'll give you some time so that you can underline the rhyme in these in, in this song. 
Have you finished? Okay, I'll start displaying them. Very nice. Eat and sit. Do you want to eat? Then take a seat. The second pair. Feel and meal. Very good. The third one. Argue and menu. Good. Next. Nice. Rice and nice. Rice and nice. Fish. Wish. Salad. Bad. And finally, these three words, which are dishes, wishes, and delicious. Dishes, wish is, and delicious. Very nice. Thank you. Exercise 5, page 31. Listen and say, which words in the poem rhyme? We've already looked up the rhyme words from the song. I'll play the audio again, then I will display the rhyme words again. Listen carefully. Do you want to eat? Then take a seat. How do you feel? Would you like a meal? Please don't argue. Just read our menu. Our ice cream with rice is really very nice. Or the chocolate on fish is more than you could wish. And the lemonade salad is better than not bad. So tell me your favourite dishes. We'll make whatever your wish is here at the restaurant delicious. OK, now I will, I will display the answers for you. The first pair, feel, meal. The second one, argue, menu. The third one, rice, nice. Then, fish, wish. Then, salad, bad. And finally, dishes, wish is, and delicious. Exercise 6. Work in pairs, read the poem. All what you need to do now is to read the poem again so that you can practice the rhyme in the poem. Thank you very much. I hope that you understand the lesson very well and see you soon in the next lesson.